What is cooking, my friends? Welcome to a little lake in the Appalachian Mountains. I'm out here today with my dad. It's been a while since he and I have been fishing together. Uh, we've been sick. He's Ooh. been, yes, he's been sick. He's been busy with some things. I've been sick, and then I've been busy with some things. But we are back together fishing, and uh, we're on this little lake here in the middle of January. There is an underwater boat right there. It's a sunken houseboat. And of course, if you're members, you've seen the sunken houseboat before and we've caught some fish off of it. So we thought we'd start at this um, spot. And no plan for the day. We're just gonna fish and see what happens. We decided to come out here because it was so warm, even though it's January, it's like gonna be like high 65 today. I'm starting off with this little tube, by the way, little Dry Creek Outfitters tube. And uh, we thought we'd come out here and just try a little, try our luck in January. We haven't been having a lot of luck this winter, but you never know and that can change. And with this kind of warm, sunny weather, as you guys can see, uh, you never know what can happen. First cast of the day, by the way. All right, guys, nothing at the boat. Let's try another spot. We're just gonna run and gun today. Big tree when this water comes up this spring, guys. This, <laughs> yeah, this tree's gonna be amazing. Crappie spot. We're we'll have to remember this. All right, so I gotta rescue our boat. Speaking of which, <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey ho. The wind kind of blew us right in. <sighs> there. Okay. Anyway, we'll come back to that tree this spring, guys. When it's in the water. This bank looks so good along here, though. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on constant and just troll my jerk bait behind the boat. In fact, since there is a lot of activity here, if you wanted to do yeah, that. I will. Got one, got one. You got one? Yep, yeah, I got oh, one. Sheesh. Oh, it's big. It's, it's big. big. Okay, you want me to yep. around? Sure, uh, sure. Oh, it feels big. Guys, trolling, trolling a jerk bait. Oh, he's, oh, wait, no. Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big, actually. Okay, gosh, for some reason at first, it just felt huge. I can't see. Oh, I think it's a huge trout. What? Are you? It's a big brown trout. Oh my gosh. You got him hooked right there. Look at that! Gosh, guys! Thank you, Pops, for netting him. Guys, I got a big it's trout. Off, Look at that thing. A big brown. Good <laughs> just man. trolling a jerk bait. Nice. That is cool. Look at that. Oh my word. Wow, and he bit it too. Yeah, he, he did. Oh, Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish, guys, on that, that shad colored oh jerk bait. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Well, that will cook up oh, man. nicely. All right, and we have our prisoner securely there, guys. We're gonna measure him in just a minute. I wanna get my line back out there first. This is why you just gotta keep coming out. You never know. You never know what could happen. And uh, we're out in the middle of the lake. We just like pick a, pick a spot. We stop because there are all kinds of seagulls dive bombing here. And uh, yeah. Guys, look at this. Aha, this is what they're eating. Look, okay guys, all right, you gotta see this up close here. This is what is down there. You got little shad and uh, look how Look at him, he's all like bloodied up on that side. His eye's gone. And uh, that's a striper or some other, you know, like game fish hitting him. And then he just floats to the surface. And that's also why we see so many seagulls out here because they're, they're picking up these little guys um, that are floating on the surface. So that's why we stopped at this spot in the first place. This is our magic formula. We just cast out and trolling motors on high. Let a little line out and let the boat do the rest. Kind of pop it a little bit, but that also gets our baits down there a little bit deeper where the fish are at the moment. Look at this, guys. There's so much activity going on down there. We just gotta get our lures down to them. Fish, fish. Fish, nice, nice. Yeah, this is a fish, stop the Okay, all right. Sweet. Oh my goodness, Ace. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me get my line in and I'll get the net. Oh, yes. Fish number two. Oh, I think it's uh... a... Yeah. That... 
<gasps> it's another trout. No way. Another big oh. trout on a spoon. Oh my, oh my goodness, goodness, Pops. Nice job. Oh, oh. <laughs> guys, two huge brown trout in a row. Wow. Guys, on that great big Strike King, it's actually a vertical jigging spoon <laughs> that we're like, let's just throw it out the back. Let's just see what happens. Oh my goodness. Well, we got some trout to cook up. Oh my word, that's a big fish. I, I gotta show this first. Guys, this is like a, th uh, a one ounce, one and a half ounce jigging spoon, usually used for like striper and stuff. Catches a big old, <laughs> Dad catches a big old trout. Nice job, oh, Pops. Oh yeah, Sweet. that's good stuff. You just never know what can happen out That's here. That's why you gotta keep, keep, just gotta keep going. I mean, two, two 20 plus inch oh, wait, brown trout. Yeah, let's get a picture. Look how like one is like gray and this one's brown, more brown. So here's the plan, my friends. I am going to start cooking. Have here our cutting board. Our stoning stone and we just need our fish pops since yours looks yeah. yours is struggling i'm gonna grab yours yeah you might want to bleed them out too i think i will i'm gonna take this rock and knock them out you cut the gills there and there we go the trout is now bleeding out there we go how do you think I should cook them, Pops? We got a variety of ways. I brought everything, in fact, a new product there. Just cook them up in butter. And we'll, butter yeah, and we'll try this new seasoning as well that Zach Fowler made. All right, my friends, while I'm filleting this, my dad is gonna be fishing. Hopefully he hooks up on something else up there. Just a nice little fillet job. Look how orange the meat is. That's interesting. It's not pink, it's nice and bright and orange. There we are, my friends, a platter of boneless, or mostly boneless, trout. Here's the carcass, and here is a little shad. Pops, there was a shad in the trout's stomach. That's what he's feeding on. Throw that over. We are gonna make some, probably a bunch of catfishes day down there with that. They will be all upon that, and the crawdads. And this is for us. I just realized something. I don't have my stove. My stove ain't in my stuff. Uh, so what I did guys is I actually just did a video where I roasted everything over fire. So I brought all the fire roasting stuff in my catch and cook backpack. And I forgot to put the little stove back in. I guess I could. Look at all this wood back here. I guess I could get off and start a fire. I have the trout already and everything. Yeah, I'm going I'm to stop. I'm going to make a mini fire. And, and, and you know what you do? I want you to drop me off on that side. If you just went kind of way up in there, off to the left, it looks like a spot. All right, guys, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to get off on shore, and there's actually a cool creek. This actually might be even cooler. Ah, thank you. You got, you got a good frisbee over there too. Oh, a perfectly oh, good. good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll start a fire. I guess you just go around fishing. I'll either call you or yell at you. Yeah, this has spot actually looks pretty good fishing right here. All righty. Oh, look, we got a part of a water gun. We've got a perfectly good tire right here. Speaking of like trout creeks, this like looks amazing. There are a lot of trout around here, guys, uh, in this lake and in the rivers and tributaries that run in. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna make a really small, like, fire, like right in the kind of crevice of this rock here. Yeah, because I gotta be careful not to start anything. It is kind of wet out here, so I don't think I'll start a forest fire, but just to be on the safe side, you know. It's so nice because there's so much firewood everywhere because they just brush hog this area. And in fact, if you haven't figured it out yet, fishermen who live in this area know where I'm at now. 
because you're like, wait a second, what local lake has been recently, a whole bunch of the shoreline has been brush hogged? You know now where I'm at. All right, guys, so even though we hit a bit of a roadblock, this is actually turning out pretty darn fun right here. Um, so I have some of this instant, we're gonna try this. This is like one of those adventure meals, like those instant meals, it's chick uh, chicken fried rice. And apparently you just add water, it's, it's uh, dried, dehydrated. And so we're gonna try one of these for the first time, see how well this works. Now we're gonna add some water, I gotta boil up the water for the rice. I'm gonna slice up a little lemon while we're out here. My first cast seasoning and a little bit of lemon on trout is amazing. Tear open package at notch. Well, that's what she looks like there. Yeah, just rice and peas and carrots, all dehydrated. So we just take our boiling water, pour it carefully in. Place that back right there. Oh, it's hot on the bottom. It says stir. Here's our spoon. So we'll stir it around, good. So now we have to seal up the pouch, set the rice right there. And seal up the pouch, we have to let that wait for five minutes. And in the meantime, I shall start cooking on the fish. Got some butter here. I'm gonna be very generous with that. Oh man, everything's actually shaping up real nicely. And there's something fun on a cold day like this. Something really fun about a fire. Then we shall add some pieces of the trout. Ooh, oh man, oh man, oh man, folks. And we have one baby piece, yes. Some of my first cast seasoning over top. And a squeeze of lemon while it's cooking. Just a little bit, and then we'll squeeze the rest of this when it's done cooking. Ooh, look at it, just a little bit brown on the edges. Oh, that's what we like. Trout cooks up so fast too. Ah, hot food on this beautiful winter day. I need to bring my little trout rod and fish the trout stream here. Although we've been having pretty good success at the lake, I have to say, so. Ooh, look at it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I'm proud. I'm proud. We have our chicken fried rice. Let's see how this turned out. First time ever using this stuff. Oh, wow. That actually looks like, that looks good. Let me try a bite, make sure it's soft enough. Wow. Folks, let me tell you something. For um, dehydrated food, that's actually really good. Hey, Pops. Food is ready. Come and get it. Come and get it. <laughs> All right, so my dad actually came really fast. He must be hungry. I present to you fish and rice. And I am so hungry. Yeah, I know you're, you're hungry. I figured you were. Oh my goodness, look at that. You could just keep that because uh, I, I have my own plate and fork. In fact, so, if you want to tell me real quick, and then I got to get back up because I got fish on the plate. All right. I've got more fish cooking, so. Oh, okay. Just tell me, this is your first time having brown trout, I think. Mm. Or maybe not, maybe you've had I, it when I you were know. younger. <laughs> oh, you're forced. <laughs> How do you like it? Oh, that trout is delicious. Pre-dried rice. Right, that's yeah, good too. I'm like, this'll be like lame, but that's actually pretty darn wow. good. I'd take that, survival or no survival situation. Uh-huh. Right. Very cool. Well, I got to get back up to my fish that's on the bobby. Uh, my dad said there, there are uh, fish jumping all over out there, so we may have a hot evening bite. Some rice, you know, I'm just going to finish it off here, actually. So, YouTuber Zach Fowler, who actually makes my seasoning, he produces it. I invented it, but he produces it. He made his own smoked chipotle hot sauce, and I'm going to try just a little bit. I meant to actually cook the fish in it, but obviously we ran into some technical difficulties, but I'm going to put a little bit of that on. I told him that I was going to tell him how it tasted. Okay. There's a flavor. It reminds me of Tabasco sauce. So here, here would be the best way to describe it. Imagine Tabasco sauce with a smoky flavor. That's kind of the best way. I think it's great. And I think it'd be absolutely delicious on scrambled eggs. All right. I've got to clean up here, guys, because... 
My dad said the fish are busting, are schooling and busting on the surface. We're gonna put our little fire out here. All right, let's hit the road. I say, I say according to daylight, we have about 45, 50 minutes to try to hook into something. Is it right in the cove here or out in the main lake that you see them? Right in the cove here. Really? I'm just going to use this one day too. All right, guys, here's the situation. We ha it's, it's pretty warm right now for January, but it's supposed to like snow tonight. A cold front is literally moving in right now. And that might be what's, my dad said oh, it's pandemonium. It, it, it's nuts out here. Oops. There might be, oh, sorry. <laughs> there might be a, might be a good last 45 yeah. minutes here of fishing. All right, guys, armed with my $10 jerk bait. That's actually been paying off. <laughs> I was really mad when I had to pay 10 bucks for a jerk bait. But it's actually produced a lot. See, look at there. Oh, look, guys, my dad has... A minnow. See, that's what all these fish are feeding on. Look, that looks a lot like oh, that does, rattle trap. Sweet. <laughs> I have, guys, check it out. I've got a minnow on mine too. See if somebody knows what they are. Yeah. Anybody? I don't know. I don't. I'm, since I'm new here, is that a gizzard shad or a threadfin shad or which one is that? That's cool. That's Those are turkey, guys. A whole bunch of turkey. I was like, those are big birds. Oh no kidding. Whole bunch of big turkey there. That was so cool. I've never seen a turkey. I mean, I've seen a fly, but I've never seen a bunch of them. Yeah, that's cool. Guys, look, I have two minnows now on my jerk bait. They, they are just, there must be clouds and clouds of bait down there. Oh, something hit me. It hit it so hard, it threw slack in the line and got me all tangled up. Yep. Dang it, come on. There's something down there. Oh, big splash right there. We, oh, I don't know what these are. What's that? My, my lure hit the ground just as the thing busted. Did you that see? You? No, that's a fish. That's crazy. I don't know why we can't get them to buy our baits though. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe we should have kept some of our little fish and put them on a hook, like on a bobber. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's what next we should time. have done. Absolutely. In fact, what we'll do next time is we'll throw the net. Yeah, I can bring the cast net. Or we had enough at first on our hooks that we could have kept them. Right. Right. Well, guys, we did not hook up on any final fish, but it was a fantastic day out here at Pops. It was a fantastic That game. was that fun. Was good. That was fun. And those fish you cooked, oh, oh my word. That, that meal was actually really, really good. Really that good. turned out really fun. So. Yes. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah.